Employer-sponsored health insurance is a goddamn scam. It's a scam because people know, oh my God, I can't like change jobs because then I'm going to have to worry about that four week gap where I don't have coverage and I need coverage because I got to get my medication. So people literally take jobs they don't want so they can get the health insurance. If you like your, people don't like their health insurance better. They like their doctor. It's not like anybody's ever sat around like, oh, heaven forbid I ever leave the wonderful Etna. I love it when they jack up the prices and make me poor. He's just, he's a technocratic, wonky, tweak around the edge, neoliberal corporatist goon. That's what he is. And this is not what we need. We've had, that was Bill Clinton, that was Barack Obama. We've had the technocratic, centrist corporatists, and all they do is embolden Republicans because the half measures are not loved. The half measures are not loved, and then the right beats up on them anyway and accuses those half measures of being socialism. So you get the double whammy of the, the proposals not being all that popular, and then the Republicans pretending like they're the populist solution to this shit, and they go right back to the same goddamn playbook. Oh, uh, I, I, if you like your health insurance, you can keep it. Oh. And then the worst line of all is, he says, well, they, these people can't afford to wait for the perfect solution. No, they can't afford to wait for the half measure. How did he use that argument? They can't afford to wait for that, the actual solution. No, they can't afford to wait for the fucking shitty half measure that still keeps the root of the problem in place, which is the greedy, rapacious, for-profit health insurance mafia middlemen. Oh, God damn it, man. Listen, this is one of those issues where there is no compromise. I'm sorry. You want to accuse me of having a litmus test? Guilty. I have a litmus test. If you're not for Medicare for all and you're running as a Democrat in 2020, you're, you're beyond hopeless. It's not like you don't get to pretend like, who knows, bro? You know, you say tomato, I say tomato. You say you want to put the actual solution in place. I say I want to do another goofy-ass middle ground approach, which is going to get shit on and destroyed by the Republicans anyway. Hey, man, <laughs> I guess it's all equal, right? I guess it's a wash. No, it's not a wash. Your plan sucks ass, and Medicare for all is correct. That's what we're looking at here. And even in a situation where Somebody is explaining in very clear terms, here's how broken the system is, and what are you going to do about it? You still don't give the proper answer. You do your heartless robotic nonsense. Uh, by the way, for a rare instance of the CNN host nailing it and saying, why not Medicare for all? And what's his response? The classic politician dodge, classic politician dodge. Uh, I know a guy named Steve who had these, this, this, and this problem. I know a guy named Dave who had that, that, and that problem. And notice, does that answer the question? No, it didn't answer the question, did it? You're pivoting to the anecdotal to pretend like you care. Oh, my heart bleeds for this person I met. Oh, they have such terrible problems. Yeah. Then why aren't you in favor of the solution, Medicare for all? That's the only solution. Why aren't you in favor of that? Well, I'm just going to give you gruesome details of somebody who's suffering in the hopes that you think I care deeply for them, so my solution must be good because that's why I'm bringing them up. No, it's the classic bullshit politician dodge where you make it personal. Oh, I'm going to talk about a person I met. Whereas, again, that ignores policy. That dodges the substance. I'm telling you, man, it's a different era. It really is. We're not in the old school era anymore. I think now people are much more likely to hear that shitty dodge of like, I'm going to tell you about a person I know. And they're going to go, wait, you didn't, that's not answering the question. Because a Republican could do that too. Why don't you care? Why don't you want to do, uh, you know, this solution to a problem? Well, I met a guy named Tony 
and I met a woman named Jennifer. And let me tell you about Tony and Jennifer. Why? Why are we talking about Tony and Jennifer? Let's talk about the fucking thing I fucking asked you about. He's an incredibly sleazy politician. And everything he's doing is an attempt to get elected. That's it. He cares about the narcissism and the self-aggrandizement of being president. And he's overly coached. Everything is fucking laid out in advance. Him and his staffers try to plop their way through this fucking thing. There's not a genuine moment since he's been on the campaign trail. And that's continuing to be the case.